what are your thoughts right now on the continual social injustices in our world? It has to stop. You know, uh, it has to stop. You know, um, you know Colin Kaepernick uh, put, it, uh, put his career on the, on the line, you know, for something that he believed in, um, to stop uh, police brutality and, all, and, and, and the racial injustice that's been going on in this world for a lot of years. Um, you know, the NFL and everyone else took it to someone else, to somewhere else talking about the flag. But, you know, now people are, uh, can reflect and see what he was talking about. Um, but it's, it's time for, for uh, this country and this world to change. Um, you know, and, and it's great when I see, I, I, I turn the TV on and I see not just, you know, black people out there marching and are, are angry. I see people from all walks of life, white, blacks, Spanish, Asian, everyone is in the fight. And I think that's when uh, you, 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 you will see change. What do you think can be the role of you and your players, Georgetown University basketball alumni, the whole community, in the process of trying to take action towards that change? Well, you know, Georgetown has been, uh, you know, we are a, an, an academic institution. So, you know, that's one of the things we try to teach our teach the kids, not only myself as a coach, but also, you know, start with the, the president, uh, Jack, Jack DeJoya, um, and everyone else who falls under that umbrella. Our goal and our role as, as uh, educators are to to teach our, 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 our kids and our, our players to right and right from wrong uh, you know you have to fight for for fight when you think that things are not right um, you know and things are not right right now so everyone has to do their part in terms of you know uh, put the people in office that you think is going to be uh, fighting for the things that you know, uh, your belief um, so one of the things we're going to be big on uh, this year is definitely voter registration you know the kids on our team I've talked to my team about that Guys who are, who are of age, they need to understand about, you know, getting out and voting. Uh, also, you know, even the census, you know, you know, every community has to be represented. Uh, the dollars have to flow into the, those communities that, that that's needed. So all the things that, you know, a lot of people have been talking about on TV and, you know, uh, and, and been, you know, you know, just, just uh, expressing you know, that's all part of the things that we as coaches and we as a university, you know, it started with Coach Thompson, you know, him walking out on, uh, walking out on, on for, for, uh, for our rights. Um, we have to take that baton and we have to con continue to carry that torch. How much when you're talking to your players, Patrick, do you think about some of the things you were feeling when you were playing? Uh, you know, we all we all have experienced we have all experienced racism at, at some point in our lives. Um, so yes, you know, I can I, I'm one person who can reflect and talk about it with my guys. Um, but just to me, you know, that you can't let that define you. You can't let bigotry uh, keep you down. You have to keep on fighting, keep on persevering. That's one of the things I try to talk to my you know talk to people about. Is don't let one small-minded person or a group of small-minded person stop you from living your dream or, or, or believing that you can be uh, more than you more than you want more than they think that you can be i think about the big east conference which has the highest percentage of black coaches of any conference in college basketball with five and we know that that is a problem within the sport as a whole how important do you think it is that the six white coaches in the league as well, and then other white coaches all across the country, are also joining in the efforts that basketball can put together? The only way we're going to get the change that, that's needed is if we all, if everyone as a as a as a group, uh, start fighting for it. You know that means black, that means white, that means Asian, that means Hispanic. Everyone as a as a whole has to do their part. They have to put their foot down and say, is enough, enough is enough. And that's when the changes is gonna start. And also putting in pe put people in the office that is going to uh, carry out those orders. That is not just, uh, you know, being, uh, not just the, the top, uh, the president, but also all the local government needs to change. 
Uh, change, is, change is needed, and it's about time. <laughs>